how are you? I hope you all are fine. So in this video, we will discuss about transportation in human beings. Okay. Transportation. Okay. In the transportation, we discuss about the transportation in human beings, and after that, transportation in plants. Okay. We all know that our transportation is done by heart. Okay. Heart pumped the blood from uh, uh, to to brain. Okay. Sorry, lungs. Or from the heart over the body. Through all over the body. Let's see that what is given here. We have seen in previous section that blood transport food. Okay, we all know. And vegetable material also in our body. In class 9, we learned about the blood being fluid connective tissue. Okay, we all know that the blood is a fluid connective tissue. We had already studied in class 9. And blood consists of a fluid medium called as plasma in which the cells are suspended. It means the there is a blood consist of fluid medium called as plasma which are suspended cells uh, which cells uh, in which the cells are suspended now the plasma transport food carbon dioxide nitrogenous wastes okay it means there are also many function of the plasma and that it transports carbon dioxide nitrogen wastes and dissolved in which form in dissolved form they transport this type of things okay and the blood also transport food medium to transport what there is vegetable material food oxygen carbon dioxide okay now the oxygen is carried by the red blood corpuscles okay it means the oxygenated blood is carried by the red uh, blood corpuscles many other substances like salts are also transported by the blood such as the mucus need a pumping organ to push blood it means obviously the blood uh, flow with the help of um, okay we, we want some pumping organ okay so around the body a network of tubes which are tissue and the system is a place in sewer and network repair is damaged okay that here is given we all know what is the main thing to pump the blood okay if it stops uh, it stops working then we die sorry then the heart to, uh, stops to flowing all over the body and okay so our pump is the heart so heart is a there is some few points about the heart that we should know that the heart is a muscular organ which type of organ it is a muscular order organ made up of cardiac muscles okay which is as a big uh, our fish okay because both oxygen and carbon dioxide have been transported by the blood okay it means both oxygen and carbon dioxide are transported by which the blood the heart has different different chamber to prevent the oxygen reach blood from mixing with the blood containing with carbon dioxide it means the blood has chambers for what for the prevent from the mixing of oxygenated blood to the carbon dioxide that uh, the blood having the carbon dioxide okay containing carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide each blood has to reach the lungs from the carbon dioxide to be removed it means the carbon dioxide to reach blood, it means those type of blood which contains carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide has to reach the lungs for the carbon dioxide, okay. To be what? For removing, okay. And the oxygenated blood from the lungs has to brought back to the heart. It means oxygenated blood are brought from the uh, route back to the where heart now the oxygen rich blood is then pumped to the rest of the body and now the uh, air enters from our nasal passage okay through the nostri nostril and after entering the trachea it uh, it uh, uh, from the lungs from the sorry from the lungs it come from come back to where in the heart and after that to the whole body rest of the body part 
We can follow this process step by step. Oxygen is blooded from uh, chamber of the heart on the left. Okay. The intus from without pain. Oh, sorry, I think. Oxygen uh, reach blood from the lungs comes to the thin wall, upper chamber of the heart on the left. It means the thin wall. Okay. So here is given that we can follow this process step by step. Oxygen is blood from the lungs comes to the thin wall, upper uh, thin wall, upper chamber of the heart on the left side. Okay. So here, left, heart on the left, the left of artery. First, you have to know that uh, this type of okay, this pump. Wait, I will show you the figure of the heart. Right, you know, I am waiting for my how this takes work. Okay. This is our heart, real heart, okay. Not too real, but you can see that the heart is look like this. Okay, so our heart works like this, okay. Like you know this process, okay, it pumps the blood, and these are the two chambers, okay, given here. <laughs> so these are the two chambers okay and this called this are called bulbs okay with the help of this figure we can you can also see that how the blood enters and how the blood goes okay let's come to the chapter that uh, the heart on the left atrium. The left atrium relaxes when it's collecting this blood. Okay. Uh, I wish uh, I have already shown you that figure of sorry the animation of the heart that how it works. So the same process is given here that it uh, firstly it uh, relax and collect bloods and after it's contract. Okay. So the same thing is given here. Okay. So the same process is given here. Which process? Which I have this one, okay. That the first heart, uh, first the blood enters into the uh, left atrium. After that, it pumps to the heart or all over the yes, this one. Okay, contracts, relax. Okay, this step is called pumping of heart. So by the process of uh, by this process, the Blood enters from one area to, sorry, one body to one. Uh, blood enters to the all body parts. Okay. And this is the figure of a heart. given here that how it uh, uh, come from uh, lungs and how it go from the heart okay this one is called a manakawa okay that uh, come from the upper body uh, that blood come from the upper body parts and this is called roll manakawa that come from the blood from the lower body parts and this one is a uh, right atrium this one is called bulb okay and uh, this one is called left ventricle, right ventricle, left or left atrium, right atrium, and this one is called pulmonary vein, and this one is a pulmonary artery. Okay, 
Now the oxygen enters the blood in the lungs. That how the oxygen enters in the blood of the blood and the oxygen. So the separation of the right side and the left side of the heart is useful to keep oxygenated and deoxygenated blood from mixing. Deoxygenated means the carbon dioxide that is the blood in which containing the carbon dioxide. Okay. It means they are separate, separating those type of blood which are oxygenating and the deoxygenating. After that, here is uh, given that uh, uh, about the all the things. Okay, that uh, such separation allow a highly efficient supply of oxygen to the body. It means this type of separation allow to highly efficient supply of oxygen to the body. And this is a useful in animal that have a high energy needs. It means this is very useful in animal because we use high energy. Okay. Okay. Now the such as birds and mammals which constantly use energy to maintain their body temperature. Okay. In animals that do not use energy for the purpose, the body temperature depends on the temperature of, in the environment. Such animals like amphibians or many reptiles have three chamber hearts okay, and uh, tolerate some mixing of the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood streams. Species on the other hand have only two chambers in their heart and uh, in, but in our heart there are four chambers. Okay. The blood is pumped to the gills, is oxygenated there and passes directly to the rest of the body. Thus, blood goes only once through the heart in the face during one cycle of the passage. But our circulation is called double circulation. Okay. So, that it goes through the heart uh, uh, twice during each cycle. Known as double, it means... On uh, the other hand, there is a it goes to the first of all heart twice during the each cycle in other vertebrates. Okay, this are this is this is known as double circulation. And here is about the blood pressure. Okay, and after that the tubes blood vessels. It means here is a uh, some things some important points are given about the blood vessels okay we all know there are veins artery and capillaries so let's see arteries are the vessels which carry blood away from the heart to the various it means artery are the vessels which carry blood from the heart okay away from the heart to the body organs now since the blood emerges from the heart under high pressure the arteries are thick, elastic walls. If we want, if we have to write about that water artery, so we can write there that arteries are thick. Arteries have thick walls, elastic walls. It is, it carries the arteries are the vessels which carry blood away from the heart to the various body parts. And but the veins are the blood which connect collect. Blood from different organs and bring back to heart. It means the work of vein is to collect the blood from the body parts and bring back to heart. Okay, it means the work of vein is to collect the blood from the body parts and back, come, uh, brings back to the heart. They do not need thick walls because the blood is no longer under pressure. But in the artery, there blood, uh, there is high blood. Now instead they have valves that ensure that the blood flows only in one direction on reaching an organ or tissue the artery divides into smaller and smaller vessel to bring the blood and contact with the indivisible cell. Now the smallest vessel have a walls are once cell thick are called capillaries. It means the smallest vessel have walls which are one cell thick. Okay, one cell, only one cell. So they are called the capillaries. It means uh, by this we can know that uh, about the capillaries that capillaries are very thin. Okay. And after that here is about the uh, 
Exchange of material between the blood and the surrounding cells take place across the thin wall that is called the capillary. Okay. It means from a blood material exchange through the capillaries. Now the capillary then join together to form a vein and then convey the blood away from the organ or a tissue. Now the next uh, term is that the maintenance by the platelets. So let's see what happened in this system of tubes the blood are leak. Think about the situation. Okay. It means uh, what happened when the this type of uh, uh, vessels become have the leakage. So think about it. When we are injured and start bleeding, naturally the loss of blood from the system has to be minimized. Okay. In the addition of leakage would lead to a loss of pressure which would to reduce the efficiency of pumping system to avoid this and the blood has to platelet cell which can circulate around the body and plug them with by using lot of blood and the source of injury. Means if, uh, here is given only this things that the if we get injury in the our hand or uh, any place, okay. We see that uh, after some time there uh, a simple blood clotting were there, so it to prevent to uh, for the blood flow, okay. It prevent the blood flow and it has the platelet cell which circulate and plug this leakage leaks by the helping to clot the blood. Okay. Now here is a uh, few points about lymph. There is another type of fluid also involved in the transportation. Okay. This is also a type of uh, uh, fluid which involves in transportation. These are called lymph or a, also called tissue fluid. Through the pores present in the wall, the capillary some amount of plasma, protein, blood cells escape into the intercellular space in the tissue to form a tissue fluid or a lymph. It means this type of pores that present in the walls of which type in the capillary and some amount of in the uh, some amount of plasma protein and the blood cells. This cell escapes into the intercellular space uh, spaces in the tissue to form a tissue fluid called as lymph. It is similar to the plasma, it is similar to the plasma but co colorless and contains less protein. It means it is colorless and contains less protein. Now lymph <coughs> drains into the lymphatic capillaries from the intercellular space. It means it drains into uh, which capillary? Lymphatic capillary. Okay. It means for the lymph there is a separate capillary. Okay. So we join to form a large lymph vessel that finally opens into a larger vein. It means that uh, it joins to form a large, uh, large lymph vessels and finally it opens into the larger vents. Now the lymph carry digested and absorb fat from the intestine and also drains excess fluid from extracellular space back to the back into the blood. Okay, so lymph is also a, uh, another type of fluid that is helps us to transport the materials okay which are proteins okay and after that there is a transportation in plant okay this is our next topic and this is about all about the transportation in animal it means transportation in human beings okay so that's i think uh, you um, understand the whole the video that's all for today thank you very much <laughs>